Hey y'all, it's Grizz here at Windmill Farms in North Mississippi. But today I'm not at the farm. I'm over at my dad's place here in North Mississippi, just outside of Pontotoc in a small community called Tacapola. And uh, today we're gonna do an episode of Sitting in the Shade. And I've taken y'all when I've gone chanterell mushroom hunting. Well, today we're going to harvest some bullets. So come along with me today on our adventure as we do this, all right? Hey y'all, I know that I said we were gonna go uh, hunting some bullets. We, the reason I say that is, is most time you're in the woods hunting mushrooms. Well, the property my dad bought apparently is mushroom heaven when it rains and we get this 98% humidity in North Mississippi. This July, we've actually seen more rain than I think I've ever seen in my life in the month of July. This is almost like a February or March. But anyway, even though we're here to hunt them, I found a unique, unique mushroom today, y'all. Look right down here. Them are called indigo blues. They, here's some here in the thing. Here's a big one here. There's another one there. Here's another one right over there. Now y'all, not only do they eat well, and if you've ever read Dr. Seuss's um, green eggs and ham, this is one way that you can make green eggs and ham for your kids, okay? If you if you come across these blue lactating mushrooms right here, um, when you add them to eggs, the blue and the yellow makes green. So you can make your kids scrambled green eggs, okay? But what I'm gonna do with them, I'm actually going to try to dye some more wool with them this time. I've got some dried at home. I've been waiting to find some more. I lucked up, I didn't even know these were here. Uh, so I'm kind of happy about that. We are going bullet hunting. They're right across over here. We're going to get right to them in a minute. Um, but with that being said, y'all, look what I found right underneath there. A couple big old bullet. Now these are past their prime. If you open these up, see how they're already bug riddled. Hopefully the ones I get across the street are not gonna be, but let me collect these and we'll be right back with you, all right? If you're wondering what I'm, the way that I'm looking, my psyllium goes under the ground, normally with roots of trees and stuff that they cohabitate with. Some mushrooms, not all. Okay, let me get that out of the way. And that's what I'm doing is, normally when you find a cluster of them, look in this general direction, look close in the grass and you'll find them. But, I don't know if the camera will pick this up. That's the reason they're called blue lactating. If I take my knife, and see how I cut that and if you'll give it just a second see right there there's already some blue substance coming out of the mushroom right there see it I don't know if it's it's kind of hard to see in there but that's it's a lactareous mushroom which is a lacto, lactose producing mushroom but they're an awesome find alright let's go looking for the bolets I was talking about <laughs> All right, y'all. When you're harvesting a bolette, the way that you know it's a bolette is when you harvest it and turn it upside down. You see the bottom up looks like a sponge, y'all? 
them this one's gone too far you can see the actual pores where the actual um oh I, my mind's going blank y'all spores the spores come out of the pores all right now this one's gone a little far and another way that you can tell is when you open it up see where all the bugs have gotten inside and eaten it up now just looking from the top side man that thing looks beautiful and you're like oh i found a perfect one but unfortunately that one would not be worth eating now granted if you're in the woods and you need to eat it by all means another way that you can tell is open up the stems notice how stringy and not solid they are that's when you know the mushroom's gone too far now we'll take this little one right here notice how the inside is a lot more condensed and packed notice how the color is notice there's no bugs eating in it and stuff so that tells you that that's a prime bullet mushroom right there all right so we're going to collect some of these i want to turn them upside down this one right here is right on the verge but i can tell right here that it's not been eaten much it just like any fruit or anything else you know we, we pick stuff up for fruit trees all the time and there might be a little wormhole in it we just cut that out right off of an apple or off a of peach and we use the rest well you can do that here too if let's turn let's op actually open this one up real quick y'all See how perfect it is? See, there's no bug holes. There's something to eat in right there. We can always just cut around that, okay? And then use the rest of it. Now, you can air dry them. You can freeze them. You can can them. You can do all three with bullets. They, they're great in just a soup by themselves. They're great to add to a wilderness stew. That's personally what I like to do with them. I like to add them to like when I'm making stews up out of my tomatoes and stuff and I've gotten some deer meat left over i've gotten some chicken or beef left over from a roast or something these do real well in those okay so we're going to harvest a few of these right here remember we like anything else um harvest only what you need or what you can use um the thing about these is this is the fruit y'all you're not hurting the plant the actual plant is the mycelium that is down here in the ground under this mat of of um moss down here okay and in the ground through here that comes off of, it's feeding off the roots of this tree that we're under right now this oak tree you'll find that certain mushrooms are very cohabitable with certain trees and that's the way you can find them much easier when you go in the woods okay so we're going to harvest a few right here um i've already think it's a great day it's going to be a wonderful day when i get through harvesting a few here we still got a few back there a lot of them have gone past prime we found a couple other mushrooms, uh, which I showed you a little bit earlier, that are great for us. So it's a great day. Let me finish harvesting some of these, and we'll do a sit down at the end, all right? I'll see y'all in a little bit, man. Hi right, y'all. Y'all saw us hunting the bullets. Um, appreciate y'all coming along for this sitting in the shade, me talking about them. Uh, hope you learned a little bit of something. Uh, if you did, let me know. As always, I'd love to hear you talk to me down in the comments down below. So uh, yeah, y'all come along. Enjoy us for another adventure that we had. Uh, we had a blessed day. We hope y'all did. Uh, you seen what my harvest looked like, so you know I had a blessed day, and uh, yeah, as always, y'all be safe.